Hello, I'm Jack. And last week, I started making my own copper watch, or more precisely, a watch case made from pure copper. And it, I got this far. It's uh, it's just a circle. Currently, it doesn't really resemble a watch case or watch at the moment. But next step is to use a metal and a milling machine to cut away some of the uh, edges here so that it actually looks like a watch. And before I can do that, I need to set up my milling machine, this one, the CRF1. I think it's interesting enough to actually make uh, a separate video for it. Okay. My soon to be watch case needs to be mounted, clamped somewhere on the machine, and then the, the same with the mill. The mill will be in here in the spindle, and uh, this one needs to be on the table somehow so that when I'm cranking the handles, it will move. Um, and one other thing is that. I need something that can make a circular movement. Okay, so let's open the door and see if there's an accessory that we can use. Okay, here's the accessories in this door. And uh, let's see, so I needed something that can rotate. Uh, so this looks good. This is a rotary, rotary table. So let's uh, use that one. Before I can actually mount it, uh, I need another accessory and that accessory is here so this is a swivel support it can uh, it has like a hole here so I can mount other things mount it on the machine on the, on the vertical table I think this is called like that Now I can take the rotary table and mount this as well, like that. So this watch should be on top here, and the mill in here. But as you can see, the mill will mill in this direction, and it should be milling in this direction. So how do we solve that? We can solve that by removing the spindle and along with the motor and the gearbox. So this unit can be removed and then we can use another accessory to make this vertical. So let's do that. Now I'll use a third accessory, which is this one, the vertical support. Now I'll mount that instead of the, the spindle, and then the spindle will go in here. Like that. Like that, and I will then mount the spindle in here instead.
and then connect it back here. Before we can start milling, we need to make sure that this spindle is trimmed, which means that it needs to be perpendicular to this table. So it needs to be completely straight, so it's not in an angle, other than 90 degrees. So let's do that. So first we need to take off this rotary table. So we need a reference surface that we know is absolutely horizontal, or straight. Um, I don't think we can use this one since it's tiltable. So let's try with this one at the back and use that one instead. So it's a diet indicator and just some round stock. I'm going to put that in the spindle and then turn it and see if two positions differ. First I need a, a collet in here. That one. What does it read? 56. Let's turn it. Now, difficult. Sixty-two. So it means that I need to loosen this screw here a little bit and then tilt it. Loosen it up a bit. It says fifty nine there and fifty nine. I know that this is not the best measurements because it's not that wide area or long long distance for moving it. I would like to have this one longer further out so that I could measure here and here on that side. But this is what I have and I think it, it will be enough for my use case. Now let's see if if this is actually straight and I can do that by turning the longitudinal table like this. and then see if, um, if the dial moves. And it doesn't move at all, so that's really good. It's really, really straight. So, Next thing to do is to check this surface here, which the rotary table will sit on. And that also has to be uh, straight because it can be tilted, which means that uh, it's possible for it to be not straight. That I 
we can see it better. It's 56 at the moment. It's not moving. It moved a little bit, but it's a dent. You like half hundred of a millimeter, so that's good. Okay, let's remove this and put the rotor table back on. Now I can take my watch case and clamp it up in here on the table. I can take a mill, put it in here, then make sure everything is centered and then mill away. But that, that I will do in the next video.